Hello everyone, welcome back to Chris VV Journey. So today I wanted to talk about Captain America 25 one of one artist proof on VV. Um, also, I wanted to mention uh, the last time we had the Disney drop, I didn't drop a video because I simply forgot it. I had recorded the video, I even uploaded the video to YouTube and then I forgot to put it online and after the drop it didn't seem necessary to still release it so yeah that's that i even talked about the mickey mouse drop already so i will instead record another video about the mickey mouse drop on friday and put that online so with that out of the way let's talk about this uh one of one original piece captain america 25 variant cover by steve mcniven um steve mcniven is really really known by marvel fans like in marvel he has done a lot of great work and he happens to be one of those guys that was involved in a lot of very known projects it's not like he has he has done so much work i mean has done a lot <laughs> but it's not like he was everywhere and then there he was also part of big uh, stories he's just happened to be around with when big stories happened like civil war uh, that was done with mark miller very very known uh, that was the 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 predecessor for the movie from the captain america 2 movie civil war so he did marvel knights very known in in the in the marvel community then he did old man logan which they also made a movie of that was the the, the logan movie the last part of the wolverine saga uh death of wolverine he also did that one because in the marvel comics wolverine was dead for a long time like literally for years while his uh, clone, aka daughter, X-23, took the mantle of Wolverine. Um, he also did the 2011 Captain America run, which this cover is coming from. And then he was on Uncanny Avengers, Return of Wolverine, of course. He killed Wolverine, then he, then he worked on the return that was pretty recently. Yeah, maybe it was 2018 or 19 even. Like, yeah, th that feels recently to me, but... <laughs> It's not that recently. Uh, he did two issues on Secret Empire, which is also very known. He did some ISM stuff, uh, AVX, like Avengers vs. X-Men. But he was just part of it. That, that's that's not something he worked completely on, like on Civil War, where he did everything. Um, so he is very, very known. I think, um, given the works he was, he was a part of, I feel sometimes his original art is not that expensive. Um, for whatever reason, I, maybe he's still too young. He's a Canadian guy discovered by uh, Joe Quesada, or, or not discovered by Joe Quesada, but Quesada said he was one of these young guys that would uh, become one of the best pencilers around. And I think he's right. Um, even that piece is very, very well done. So um, the interesting part here is, again, I don't know why, but Vivi has again chosen to use a physical piece, which is out there. The, that was done physical with a pencil on paper and turn it into an NFT, which is an interesting choice because there's a whole lot of artists right now working digital that are still using, yeah, so, some weird ways to, to sell their physical pieces, uh, to sell their digital pieces. and. Vivi is like a really, really great way to sell those pieces instead they take scans and sell them as NFTs. I don't know. I, I, I would so much prefer like the Sarah Picelli piece, which was an NFT of an originally 100% digital sketch, uh, not sketch, cover. So um, that was preferable. Like when we look at the last pieces, we have six releases now. So the first one, Sarah Picelli, uh, Miles Morales, that was all digital. Then the artist proof from Black Panther 25 by, um, uh, I forgot the artist's name. Um, who was it? Brian Stelfries. Yes, Brian Stelfries. So that was also done all digital, like everything on this piece is done digital. Perfect. And those are the only two real digital pieces. Then we have the uh, Scotty Young piece that is a hybrid done in physical form and then colored digitally. So there's a physical piece with this just the inks without the color out there. And then the last three pieces, those are all 
um, physical pieces that were scanned. And I always say scan. I, I, I kind of want to say they were just scanned. Like, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I don't think it has, uh, it does devalue the piece. I just think it's a weird choice to use. Like, if you take the, the Steve McNiven piece that you can now bid on, like you have three days left to bid on this piece. Um, the original piece was sold in 2016 for, I guess, 3,000. 3,800 bucks, like this is it. This is the original piece you can see here. Like it's a beautiful piece, right? It's it's fantastic piece, it looks great. He's so great in applying values with a pencil. Um, like from the artistry, it's a great piece. For me personally, it's, it's not quite my taste. I don't know, too much patriotism. For, for my taste, but I'm a German. Like <laughs> maybe that's a different thing. Um, also, not the biggest Captain America fan. Just like that, I, I would have expected a Wolverine piece because I think McNiven to me is is so intertwined with Wolverine, also with Captain America, but Wolverine a bit more in my opinion. So I would have expected a Wolverine piece. Um, still great, but this piece was sold 2016 for 3,800 bucks, and that means if if you buy the NFT, you have the same problem that I have with all the other NFTs. Like there is a physical piece out there and somebody else owns it. So you have the one of one artist proof, but you don't own the original because there's someone else who has the real original. And that's the thing why I would so much prefer a digital artist because then there is no one else that has a physical piece in hand, which is the original. No, there is an original NFT that you can say, okay, this is, this is really it. This is it. This is the original one. Um, that's why I would much rather prefer those, interestingly enough. So, um, yeah, personally, this is the first one I won't bid on, which is also <laughs> a part of the fact that I don't have uh, much gems left and I don't want to sell all the other stuff. And like I said, it, it just it just isn't my... It's just not my favorite piece. I like all the other pieces more. I have the utmost respect for Steve McNiven. I think he's an extraordinary artist. And I also think this is a pretty good piece. Um, not as iconic as some of his other pieces, of course. But um, yeah, still a great piece. But I wouldn't shell out the 1500 for it. Or, I mean, you wouldn't get it for 1500 I guess this will also land, I guess, around the physical price around 3k i would guess um maybe it's the first one that is even under 3k but i don't know i mean it's captain america so it's i, I guess there will be a lot of fans so i get 3k is not the the worst bet here um but i have no idea so yeah i guess i guess that's all i have to say about this piece let me know what do you think about this cover like as you saw me talking about it, I have a hard time to describe the cover and how to how to rank it personally. Like how, how good is the cover? I like the craftsmanship. I don't like the patriotism. I think it's uh, he's he's great in portraying Captain America also, but it has no background. I, I have no idea. It just not it just doesn't hit me. Like it's something missing for me. And I'm wondering how you guys would rate it. So let me know in the comments. And yeah. I wish you guys good luck if you're participating in this one-on-one -on -one auction. Let me know if you participate. And yeah, see you guys soon, I guess on Friday for the Mickey Mouse drop when we have more info. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.